Yeah, hey, Scott. Um, I know the email I sent you uh, the other day might have been a little bit, uh, oh, me, a little rude. I'm not really sure. But I wanted to just uh, impress upon you where I'm at with life and how we can really still uh, hang out with each other if possible. Again, if you say you're going to call me, you got to call me. When you say you're going to call me and I make time at evening time, which is my prime time to call people uh, in, the, uh, in New York and get things going that way, and I am busy, uh, and you don't show up, well, it's frustrating. And since I've had this heart operation and I almost died, I see life a lot different than I did before, where time is, for me, is really precious. Now, I understand that you're busy. Believe me, you you got a family, you got a house, you got cars, you got this, you got that. You're a shaker and you're a mover and you get things done. But it'd be better that you don't say you're going to call me if you're not going to call me. Or if you go, say you're going to call me and something comes up, just shoot me a quick email so I know. Uh, I've been going to bed earlier now, getting mastering getting better sleep by going to bed at 10 or 10.30 because the most healing time of the evening for the body is between 10 and 2. And uh, it's, it's actually showing up. So when you ask me how I feel, um, I feel, I feel good. I feel very good some days, and some days I don't feel as good. But the heart thing is fine. Uh, it's a little, i got a ways to go till I'm fully recovered. And um, I want to start making some plans. I really wish you'd make a comment about the cruise, whether you like the idea or you don't like the idea. I sent you three emails, and I hope by this time you've seen one of them. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's pretty much it. I am thinking of going to Japan and hanging out with the 12 tribe uh, community for a month or so and enjoying what they have to offer. It's a real healing community and I get to stay there for free and I just work in the bakery and make pizza and make bread or whatever they need. But I can't work 12 to 15 hours a day right now and they need to know that. It's only a five hour flight from here uh, to Japan. And it's really the best time of the year to go is September, October in the fall. Uh, and it's only like 85 bucks for a five hour flight, which is really pretty reasonable. If not, I'm thinking of coming uh, to uh, Boston, uh, Plymouth, there's a group there. I might go back down to the group in Vista. The most important thing, I'm around loving people. And that is a big part of the healing process. Now, Pat is an incredible woman. Uh, I couldn't get along here as well as I do without her or someone like her. And she's old school. She won't let me buy, your, buy her a washing machine. She washes everything by hand once a week. She sticks it outside in, on the clothesline. And uh, I've basically captured her heart, and with capturing her heart, the loyalty is just profound. Uh, she'll do pretty much anything I want, uh, and um, I don't ride the motorcycle anymore because I've had three accidents, some two serious ones and one not so serious, so she takes me on the motorcycle, and I wish I was more mobile that way. We do have a car but I bought this car to drive my mother around. And the first day I bought the car, I went out at 6 a.m. and I'm turning a corner in my neighborhood and I happened to just scratch a car with about an inch or less uh, of the paint coming off of my car. And because I'm a foreigner, they just put me to the, they just screwed me. And I had to pay five or $600 to them for basically nothing and as Pat would say you gotta buy the problem and get rid of it so I did it stung I didn't like it so they don't know how to drive here in, in Chiang Mai they really they really don't uh, you know before there was cars there were horse and buggies 
And uh, the motorcycle is basically um, the main mode of transportation. Now with the car, it's pretty hectic and it's pretty, it's dangerous in, in many ways. And lots of times I just take the red taxi uh, for a couple bucks. But today I went uh, to the shopping mall and I bought what I really, really enjoy eating was some duck. And I think I took a picture of it. I think I'll post it in the email. But it's a great food because it's good fat, good protein, and with a little bit of rice, good carbs. It really balances out well. And I found a place that makes it exceptionally well and they're still reasonably priced. When I look around Chiang Mai, uh, after being here for, oh no, nine years now, I see things have changed. Uh, there are more hotels. Things are becoming more expensive. We have inflation. So you go to the store one week, something costs 200 baht. You go a week or two later, it's 230 baht. So that's happening all over uh, the country. Uh, and it's really easy to see that in Chiang Mai. So that's it. I'll send you this video and I want you to know I love you like a brother and I'm hoping that I can get to see you and if the cruise thing would work we'd have to move on this fairly quickly. Uh, I thought it was a good idea. A great venue to hang out and uh, have a good backdrop of, of the ocean but it is going to be November and it could be rough seas. Uh, or just tell me what your plan is on coming to visit so I can figure out what I'm going to do with my time. Okay. Take care, and hopefully I'll, I'll hear from you soon. Okay, bye.